Hi, this is Chef Alyssa for Roth Living in Salt Lake City, and it is my favorite time of year, Thanksgiving, and we're working on the most important part, the turkey, obviously. So today I'm gonna help us figure out how to roast the best, juiciest, with crispy skin browned turkey in our dual fuel oven. First things first, we have to get this thing seasoned. And on top of that, we are gonna do something kind of different, something that's gonna help us create a more even cooking surface to get a better end product. I'm showing you how to spatchcock this turkey. Kind of a funny word, but what that means is we are going to cut out the backbone of the turkey, flip it over, and we're gonna smash it down flat. So you're gonna kind of break the breastbone, and that way our turkey is gonna lay flat so that we will get a more even surface for seasoning and crispy skin, and everything is going to cook more evenly. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you how we do it. You need a pair of shears, sharp shears, and your turkey, and we're going in. There we go, got the backbone out. So you wanna save this for gravy making later down the road. Now, we finally got that backbone out. As you can see, it can be a little bit tricky, and a little bit tough, but you really just gotta be brave, sharp scissors, show the turkey who's boss, okay? So now that we've got the spine out, you're going to flip this guy over. So breast side up. And now you're gonna see he's kinda gonna lay a little bit flat here. And if you guys just heard that, we just cracked the breast bone, okay? So, once you've done that, your turkey now sits much more evenly. We can tuck our wings under, and he is ready to be seasoned, okay? So, there we go. Okay, our turkey has been spatchcocked, he's laying flat. You can see he's ready to turn into a delicious meal. Now we're ready to season it. Uh, so a lot of you probably are used to doing a wet brine, sticking it in a bucket of liquid with some aromatics like onions and peppercorns, et cetera, et cetera, and you have to sit it in this giant bucket, sit it in the fridge. First of all, who has space for a giant bucket in their fridge? Not me. And you pull it out and then you have to dry it off. We're not here for that. I'm showing you today what, in my opinion, is far superior when you're doing a dry brine. So what we're gonna do now is I've got my uh, seasonings and then we're going to rub the whole turkey all over evenly with this seasoning. We're then going to set it on a rack inside a pan so that the turkey sits up above all of the juices that are gonna come out. And we are gonna set this uncovered in the fridge for at least 24 hours, okay? So our seasoning mixture is gonna be a hefty amount of kosher salt. So I've got a 12 pound turkey, so I have about six tablespoons of kosher salt. I've got two tablespoons of a dark brown sugar and that equal amount, two tablespoons of smoked paprika, okay? Get all that in there. So I'm just gonna mix this up, and this mixture is gonna be my dry rub. We're gonna put this all over, and overnight, as this turkey sits and all of that mixture, the salt gets in to the flesh of the turkey, it's gonna season the turkey all the way through, and by leaving it uncovered, we're also gonna end up with a drier skin, which is gonna end up with a crispier skin, okay? So, here we go. Okay, so now that I've made a mess of my countertop, you can see this turkey is very well seasoned all over. He looks pretty. And now I can set the turkey onto the rack, make sure it's big enough to hold your turkey. And that's gonna go right into my fridge again uncovered, leaving the skin so that it can dry out while that salt gets into the flesh. So it gets really nice and flavorful. So tomorrow, 24 hours, we will come back and we will roast this guy. Okay, welcome back, you guys. Our turkey is ready. It's time to roast. So this, as you can see, he's been in the fridge overnight, 24 hours. Actually, it's been more like 30 hours, so even better. And you guys can literally see how the skin has tightened in around the bird. The skin has dried up a little bit, so he's definitely ready. He's gonna be flavorful and crispy. So all we have to do now is I'm gonna rub this down with a couple tablespoons 
of olive oil, just a little bit, and that's gonna help ensure really nice, even golden brown crispy skin, okay? So we've got that, now it's ready to go in the oven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the probe thermometer that comes with your dual fuel. This long, skinny, pointy end is going to actually go into the thickest part of the breast. This is kind of important. You wanna make sure that the whole thing is covered and that you are not touching any bones and you are all the way in there, okay? So I like to come at it at an angle and it's all the way inserted and now I know that the end point of the probe is right in the center of that meat. So now we are going to get it into the oven. Okay, so we don't even need to preheat the oven here because the turkey, as it, the oven is preheating, we're gonna use that extra hot blast of hot air to start that beautiful browning process of the skin. So turkey's going in and I have got it on the number two uh, rack from the bottom. And we now just need to insert the probe into the side of the oven. So you just lift this little flap, get it in. And if you'll notice, I did put the legs towards the back because the dark meat takes a bit longer to cook. So I like to have those closest to the heating source, which is those convection fans in the back. So. Okay, so the turkey is in. Now we're going to select the convection roast mode. What this mode does is we're gonna get most of the heat from the top heating element, some from the bottom, and we're also gonna get heat from the back convection fans. That's gonna create a really nice browning environment in our oven that will help to brown the skin before the white meat overcooks. Since I've got a smaller turkey between 12 and 14 pounds, we can actually really crank this heat up to about 400 degrees. So that's where I am going to set it. Next is our probe that we need to set. So you're gonna click open our fun little piece here. We're gonna hit probe and then you enter the temperature here and you actually want to get that white meat to 155 degrees. And then did we hit enter? Yep, you're gonna hit enter. And now everything is ready to go. And the turkey will come out and you guys will see it golden brown and beautiful. Okay guys, the time has come. The oven is dinging at me, which means that the probe has reached the internal temperature of 155 degrees. I wanted you guys to all to be here to watch this guy come out of the oven. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our beautiful, glazed, lacquered, spatchcocked turkey. There he is. That is the type of centerpiece you want to have on your Thanksgiving table. Now that we've pulled him out, you need to make sure that you rest your turkey at least 45 minutes. Give it an hour if you can. All those juices are gonna have time to kind of settle down so that when you slice into it, you don't lose all that goodness onto your cutting board. So I'm gonna let this rest an hour and then I am going to dig right in. I cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving.